In this video, I'm going to give you a couple of tricks that you can use when you're mixing drill vocals. Add a bit of air candy, keep the listener interested. One of the best quotes that I heard was, if you mix modern music too safe, it becomes boring. You never want your mix to sound like a bunch of repeating loops. Things need to happen. This is what I've been going by for the last six months as my mixes have progressed and got a lot better. So let me show you what I did with this mix so that you can use it in some of your future mixes. What's going on? It's KC. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well. I'm just going to quickly go through this mix that I've done. The track's called Wishes. It's my single featuring two artists, two amazing artists that I've worked with before. I believe that they can go and to do amazing things very very talented links are in the description below if you want to go and check them out and support their music my music spotify links and all that it'd be very much appreciated i'm just going to show you a few things in this mix that i feel help to keep things moving and make your mixes sound pro intro part simple it's just a bit of eq filtered eq with a little bit of modulation on there just copy the first part of the hook I didn't want to put too much of the hook on there. It's more like a teaser of what's coming up next sort of thing. So there's some parts that I cut out. Now I'll start there, turn that right down as well. So I could just use the gain slider. Turn that about the gain instead of the top corner there. Amazing. Nice and quick. Make sure it's in time. Got a delay on there as well. And we just throw an EQ. And we're just going to automate this EQ. Turn latch on. And we've got that locked and then we're gonna go to read and then latch again, grab the high cut. Put it back into read and it's as simple as that. And then we can throw some modulation on there, maybe a flanger. Put it inside so you can hear what's doing. This is what it sounds like with the beat. Lovely, nice and simple. So that there, you can use that for the intro. You can use that in between the song, wherever you feel it will work, it will fit, and just you being creative. In the beginning of this hook, it's just done a quick stutter, simple stutter. Just grab the first piece of the line that's being said, duplicate that by pressing all, and make sure that it's in time. It is 15, uh... Lovely. You can do that throughout the track, wherever you feel it will fit, but be careful that you don't overdo it, don't overuse it. Another cool trick that I used in this mix was, I grabbed the first line of the, I think it was the first, second verse. Yeah, first line of the first verse, and I pitched it. So this is what it sounds like in the track. And all that is, I grabbed the first line of the first verse, duplicated it, and then put a little bit of auto boy on there, little auto boy, pitched it, it's that like three semitones, little bit of formant, minus one, and on its own, it sounds like this. I don't put around. And then the original sounds like this. I don't put rats on beat. So it's like it's a call and response. Because it's in the background, you can hear something's going on. And then it comes in with the actual vocals for the verse. So I think that worked nicely. And that's got a bit of EQ. Took the top end off, so it's a bit muffled. Pushing it back in the mix. And some reverb on that as well. And that sounds like this. The system real. I don't put rats on beat. I love how that worked. Same again, a little bit of a stutter. I don't put rats. Just grab the first part where it says up and just made it up, up. So that works nicely. I, I don't put rats on. I don't put rats. And again here. Just pay attention to my frequency. I was, I was broken hungry. So it says I was. I was broken hungry. Forgot to mention, I put a little bit of a tape stop on that that call and response part. I don't put rats. I, I don't. So it just kind of like gives it a bit more of an effect, which is cool. Going back to stutter again, just grab the first line. I was, I was broken, hungry, me and cause we lost our teeth. It works nicely. Just grabbing bits of vocals and placing them in between spaces. So it's filling the gaps, acting like an ad lib or a stab. So here, near the end of the song. Bitch, and I swear you can't trap like this. Have man, have man, lean no star of. So that part there again is just a pitch vocal. Grab the bit of the vocal duplicated it, put it onto the channel that I've created as a pitch, put it in between the space. Like this, have man, have man, lean no styrofoam. 
and it works. It's like a stutter and then it's like adding interest as well. What I like to do is when I'm mixing the vocals, instead of having one channel just doing everything, like all the, the stutters and the, the delays and stuff like that, I'll make an actual channel specifically for that. So that pitch vocal, I could have three or four pitch vocals going on, low vocals, harmonies, just by using little auto boy. So if you wanted to create a harmony, you can. If you want to create some kind of robot type of voice, you can. I'll just show you what you can do with this pitch on auto boy. Like this. Have man, have man, lean no star. See that didn't sound right. So on three. Like this. Have man, have man, lean no star. Gives it a little bit more energy. Yeah, I think that worked really well. What we got at the end here. Prediction. AJT, me and bro with Smith and bow. Yeah, like I said, I'll make a whole channel for a specific part. So this part here, we've got the low vocals that you hear a lot in in tracks and mixes. It sounds like this in solo. Uh, you notice here I've got a bit of a tape stop. So if you don't know how to do tape stop, press T and A. T will bring up all your different tools that you can use in Logic. If you press A, it will bring up your fader tool. So you can fade. And once you've created your fade, right click, control, click, and just choose slow down. And it's gonna slow down that little piece that you've created. Simple as that. There's plugins out there that does the same thing, but I don't feel, I don't really see the point in using a plugin just to do that. And it's gonna eat up your CPU. So at the end there, we've, I've just duplicated, I've grabbed that piece, the top piece of the vocals, dragged it down, made a new channel, duplicated it, threw a doubler on it. Doubler is just the octave lower. I could have used Auto Boy as well to do that but I feel like it had a different sound. What I like about the doubler is it makes it wide. But if I just use Auto Boy, I have to go and get another plugin to make it wide. This is what Auto Boy sounds like. So it doesn't sound as effective as it does with doubler. So you hear how, how wide it is and how it just complements the actual main vocal, which is what I love. So on this mix, what I did with the ad libs and the stabs is have them going from left and right rather than just being in one place. That way you can add a bit of interest. So the listener's thinking, oh, I just heard something that sounded cool. And then I've automated some delays on them. Some parts has delay, some parts doesn't have delay. Like here, for example. No lacking. And then this part, there's no delay. Trap. Just reverb. As you can see there, I've removed the delay just on automation. I could have used separate channels on that part and made a whole channel just for the delay and just chopped, for example, I'll show you. I could have just made a whole, say for example, delay quarter and um, just slapped a delay on it and then dropped certain parts down onto that delay. You could do that, I could have done that. Makes it easier sometimes, but for this part, I just automated it. Yeah, works well, lovely. Working on artist music and just bringing it to life, mixing it, making it sound good is an absolutely amazing job to be able to do. I absolutely love it, being able to take raw vocals, make it sound polished and add all this different air candy and just be creative. It's definitely easier to overdo it and get carried away with things. If you want to know how to mix vocals using Logic Pro stock plugins, watch the next video. Appreciate your time. See you in the next video.